All right, guys. Today, we're going to be testing a very interesting product. I saw this on Amazon. I cannot express to you how excited I was whenever I saw this. This is the Stuffler. It is a stuffed waffle maker, and it allows you to make waffles, but not just waffles. You can put things inside of the waffles. We are going to do uh, strawberry pie filling and bacon. Those are the two things that we're gonna test. Both of those, I hope, turn out very good. I love waffles, I love pancakes. I can't imagine anything better than a stuffed waffle. So we're gonna see how this thing works. But before we test this, we need something to put inside the waffle. So one of the products that we're gonna be testing is the Yummy Can Bacon. We're gonna use this to cook our bacon that we will then put inside of our waffle. So we're kinda getting the two for one. So, let's see, we got some instructions, which I know you guys want me to read. It's just the temperature chart. We will definitely use that. This thing's got a weird smell to it, and it's not even the plastic. It's the, it's the thing itself. I guess the draw to this thing is supposed to be a, a just a, a simple, microwave bacon cooker that you that you can just cook but i don't even know what i'm trying to say the draw to this is supposed to be a simple microwave bacon cooker uh it says it says somewhere that it has a pan oh it has a frying pan flavor whatever that means special copper hue if you're interested in that anyway cooks bacon in the microwave Okay, so this is the lid. Is this, it's got like a little slot here. Is that supposed to be the crisper valve? According to the box, that is the crisper valve. It's literally just like a hole in the top of it. I don't know how that makes it more crispy, but whatever. Oh, we got pieces of cardboard. Four pieces of cardboard. I always wanted those. And we got this thing. So you're supposed to put this here and then you just drape your bacon over top of this and then put it in the microwave. So we will be putting, we will be doing eight pieces of bacon and it is supposed to take, it says cook time and then it says max cook time. So the regular cook time is seven minutes and 30 seconds. Max cook time is 10 minutes. I'm going to assume that just depends on the level of crispiness you like. So I like my bacon a little bit crispier. So we're going to go Eight minutes. Let's take some bacon here. Oh, not this again. I think I fought with this in, a, in another episode. Peel apart here. I'm not doing this today. <sighs> I'll peel it apart. Right there. That'll work for me. How's that for peeling it apart? So we should just be able to take our bacon, just drape it over here. I don't see how that's gonna work very well. So if you, see, if you look, whenever you put two pieces of bacon here, they just touch. They're just gonna like run into each other. I feel like that's gonna really affect the results. Okay, that's full. I don't, I don't think this is gonna do very good because so much of the bacon just overlaps each other. I mean, I could be completely wrong. So let's put the cover on here. See you in eight minutes. All right guys, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Now, Manscaped has sent me the Platinum Package 4.0. So let's take a look and see what you get inside of the Platinum Package. First two things you get, you get a bottle of body wash. And you also get a bottle of two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Both of these are scented, have the scent of the refined cologne, so both of these smell great. Next thing you get is the new deodorant, which is an aluminum-free deodorant, so that's very nice. And then you get the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. I've showed you guys this thing before. This is very nice. This is one of my this is one of my most favorite things. It's really nice to use. And then you get a bottle of ball toner. You also get a bottle of ball deodorant. And then you also get the lawnmower 4.0. It comes with a wireless charger. It's the same 4.0 that everybody you know and love. Turn it on. You have the light. You have the skin safe technology. This one has the travel mode, so you can hit the button three times, throw it in a bag, and if something hits the button, it won't turn on. This also comes with two different guards, so you can trim it two different lengths. So that is extremely useful. And then along with all of this, you get two free gifts. 
One of those being a nice travel bag. It's nice leather. And then you also get a pair of anti-chafing boxer briefs. Those are very nice as well. So, if you are interested in the Platinum Package 4.0 or anything else that Manscaped offers, you can go to manscaped.com. You can use code TUBE and you will get 20% off your order plus free shipping. All right, it's been eight minutes. Now, when I was pulling this out of the microwave, huge downside that I noticed. Obviously the handles are on the bottom. All of the grease from the bacon collects in the bottom. So if you, whenever you go to take this lid off, you know, right out of the microwave, these handles are so hot. And if you look, if I just go to grab these handles, you can see all the bacon grease on my fingers. So if you take this out of them, if you try to take this out of the microwave and try to take this lid off, you're just gonna get like melted with hot bacon grease. So that's a, I feel like that's a very bad design flaw. Let's see. Ooh, that like that really weird smell. Now it's like a hundred times worse. It's like whatever plastic this is made out of is like getting like baked in, in there. I do not like that at all. Let's see what the bacon's like. Okay, the bacon all, all sticks together. Kind of like how you'd expect. Come on. It's really burning my fingers. <clears throat> when you look at the bottom, it looks like you can get about one round or eight slices of bacon uh, per use before you have to empty out all the grease. Now the bacon itself, I mean, it doesn't seem that bad. It's crispy. I like crispy bacon. It doesn't have any weird like flavors or anything. Like it, I expected that weird plastic smell to kind of transfer into the bacon. So far I'm not picking up on that. It's actually pretty good. I don't know that I would recommend this device. I think that if I was gonna cook bacon in the microwave, rather than spend money on something like this, I think I would much prefer to just do the whole, get a paper plate, put paper towels down, put the bacon on, put another put another layer of paper towels, and just microwave it. And they would come out virtually the same and you don't have to buy this device. This bacon is not any better than just regular microwave bacon. So this thing doesn't really do anything extra. If maybe you would prefer to have a device over uh, paper towels or something, it's pretty decent. So now I'm gonna cook some more bacon and then we are going to try out our stuffed waffle maker. I'll go ahead and show you how this thing works. So what this thing does is you are supposed to put a batter in here and then put your toppings in here and then fill it up and then close it and flip it over and then it'll cook. And then you have these little tongs that you can pull out your very thick stuffed waffle and then you can enjoy. I'm gonna cook some more bacon and then we can get to the good stuff. Finally, time to make some waffles. I got some batter, I got the cut up bacon, we've got the strawberry pie filling. I am ready to go. Now, along with the waffle maker, which I've I have it plugged in preheating here, it seems to be good. We're gonna be testing another product, just like we did the bacon thing. Now, we're gonna test the pancake batter dispenser. That'll be a good good thing to go along with this. Very basic. You just hold this thing. And the batter comes out. Why can't I get this off? I'm an idiot, that's why. Do not use this product before seeing important instructions. I think I understand how it works. So let's get this thing filled up. I probably should have cleaned it out. I just don't care. <laughs> to be honest, I just want waffles. So our waffle maker is nice and hot. Let me get my heat going. I wonder how hot it is. 386 degrees. So it should be this simple. We should be able to, we should be able to just dispense the batter in here, put the bacon in, close it, and then it should be good. All right, here we go. This thing actually is nice. That was so easy. All right, so now, let's put in the bacon. That might be, that might be a little too much bacon, but it's all nice, all right. 
and I guess we just put a nice little layer on top. Okay, and then we close it and then flip it. And I do not remember how long, <laughs> I don't remember how long it's supposed to sit. I actually need the instructions for once. Most waffle batters will take seven to eight minutes. I think I, I definitely overfilled it. We're gonna have to do several of these and uh, <laughs> try again. Because I, I, did, I had a feeling that that, that that was a little bit too much. I guess we'll come back in seven to eight minutes. It's been eight minutes. Let's see what we got. Oh, no way. That looks beautiful. Is it free on the bottom side? It is. No way. Look at that. That worked exactly how it was supposed to. The middle part looks like it could be a little underdone, potentially. All right. I need a knife. All right. I got knife, syrup. Let's cut this thing right down the middle. Let's see if it's done all the way. Okay. I was gonna say it could have went a little bit longer, but actually doesn't look bad. It actually looks really good. Get some syrup on here. I am so excited. Let's try it. All right. That's a, that's a pretty, pretty big bite. Oh, don't fall apart on me. <laughs> that is so good. I think it's probably better just to like hold it like a sandwich. Dip it in there a little bit. I'm gonna have to give this away to somebody when I'm done with it. This is too much. I could literally eat, I could eat this every single day. Something about the waffle and the bacon mixed together. It's so good. Like, what else is there to say? It's amazing. I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna eat every single bit of that later. All right, I literally, <laughs> I literally just went off camera and just ate that entire thing. That was, that was good. Now let's try the strawberry pie filling. See if we can make like a dessert waffle. Oh, this is gonna be something else. Come on, this is gonna be so good. Let's not overfill it this time. Okay. I think right there is good. Try to get as many pieces of strawberry as possible. It's already, I already overfilled it. I gotta at least have a little bit of batter on top. I guess you're supposed to just put like so, such a little amount. And we'll flip her over. I think this time, I think I'm gonna hold it shut. So maybe that doesn't squeeze out. It's already trying to squeeze out. All right, I'll see you in eight minutes. All right, the big reveal. This one, I was excited for the last one. I'm excited for this one too. Let's make sure. Okay, nice. Please come out. Beautiful. We've come this far. <laughs> okay. Oh, it smells so good too. Although I'm gonna have to let this sit for a little while and cool because I can, I can whenever I hold it, I can literally hear or feel the uh, pie filling in the center bubbling. So I definitely, definitely need to let that cool down for a minute. Actually, you know what? Before we let it cool down, let's let's cut it in half. That'll, that'll help it cool down a little faster. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's going to be so good. That needs to cool down so I can taste that. That is going to be so good. It's cooled down now. <laughs> Time for the first bite. I almost don't want to take the first bite because I know there's going to, it's, it's all going to be downhill from there. The first one's going to be the best one. They're still really hot. That was deceiving to think that it had cooled down. Although, even though it's hot, 
It's so good. It's so good. If I had some whipped cream, put some whipped cream on top or something. I mean, this is 10 out of 10. This is crazy. If you don't have one of these, you have got to get one. Oh, that's so hot. I need that to cool down. All right, let's try this again. I let it cool down for probably 10 minutes this time instead of like three. This, this feels almost illegal. Mm. How can a waffle be this good? I'm also going to eat all of this. This waffle maker, obviously amazing. Highly recommend if you don't have one. The pancake batter dispenser. Well, I, I haven't even talked about this yet. It's a... Uh, I think it's awesome. It it leaks a tiny bit. You can see there's a couple little like dribbles. Nothing crazy. I feel like that's what's gonna happen with it, with it, like if you use a bowl or anything else. Um, this thing's been perfect though. It's if you make pancakes or waffles on a regular basis, highly recommend that. So I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go eat all this waffle, and we'll finish the video. All right, our next product. It is the egg pod. But we've tested egg cookers. And I, t I know for sure I tested that egg peeler where you put eggs in it and you like shake it and it's supposed to peel the eggs. But I don't think we've ever tested one uh, that is supposed to be both. And that's what this is. This is supposed to be a device that you can cook the eggs in and then you can also uh, afterwards peel the eggs. What we are supposed to do is fill this thing up, put that in there, and then you put in four eggs four eggs, and then you put the lid on, and you microwave for uh, nine minutes. All right, it's been nine minutes. Now, I have already opened this up, and I mean, it, there's, just, there's just eggs, nothing crazy happened. You're supposed to, after you, uh, you microwave it for nine minutes, you are supposed to run it under cold water for two minutes, which I did, and then now they should be ready to peel. So, we're supposed to just add some water, and then we're supposed to be able to just shake it up and down 10 times, it says. I think it says vigorously, too. Replace the top and lock into place. Hold the unit by its handles and shake vigorously up and down 10 times. We're going to hold it by the handles. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That did not peel them. I mean, that made them to where they would be easier to peel, but they are not peeled. Is this supposed to peel them or just make it easier to peel? Oh, it says unlock and remove top. You can now easily remove the eggshells, but it shows a picture of the eggshells like being peeled. The one device that we tried that uh, peeled the eggs, we had to go like in a circular motion. So maybe let's try that. I don't think there's enough room for them to actually like move around and peel the way that they should. So what I think, let's do this. Since it says it makes them easier to peel, let's just see. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is not as good. This is, this is nowhere near as good as like that one thing where you just shook it and then all the eggshells came off. That did a pretty good job. This is kind of like, this works, but this is honestly really no different than just like, Hitting it on the table a couple times, and peeling it and peeling the shell off that way. Although that one, that came off super clean. I like that. Oh, okay. Okay. This one's the same way. Came off super clean. Maybe there is something to this. All right. So let's take this one. Let's see, see how done they are. Okay. I mean, that's I mean that's, that's a hard-boiled egg. I don't know what to give this thing. It's, I mean, it cooks the eggs good. If you're just looking for something to cook the eggs, it does great at that. Um, it's not really a great peeler. You're still going to kind of be peeling them the same way as normal. But if you want something to just cook eggs, it does pretty good. All right, our final product. It is an electronic handheld cooking hammer. It's really, I don't know why it says cooking hammer, because you don't hammer anything with it. 
It's actually a, uh, it also says food chopper. It's like a food processor. But it's supposed to be a handheld one. We got some instructions, different end. This, which they're calling the hammer for some weird reason. A charger, something that we probably don't need. A different blade. And this thing. What could that even be for? This thing is not even in like the parts list on the thing. This is nowhere in there. Okay. Whatever. Maybe it got mixed up with like some other box or something. I'm pretty sure I saw this on TikTok is where I saw this. Because what I saw them doing, this is gonna be, this is gonna be great. You can't even, okay, never mind. Maybe you can't use this and this together. Does that work? Okay. So in the video I saw, they had these things, which I don't remember what these are called, uh, green onions. But they had these and they were like feeding them into here. And it was just chopping them up. That does not work. Wow, that did not work at all. This thing has absolutely no like torque or anything at all. Very, very little. Okay, so I guess we'll just forget about that. Maybe we'll just go on to this. I don't know if this is something that you would ever actually ever actually put inside of a food processor. Hmm. All right. That did absolutely nothing. So let's just, let's just forget about this stuff. Let's go ahead and try something that I know you would put inside of a food processor, which is garlic. So let's, Put like that much garlic in there. Let's see. Forgot they can come out through the top. Absolutely nothing is happening. They literally are just getting knocked around. And literally, literally not a single thing is happening. Maybe you gotta have more so they don't have as many places to just move. And would you look at that? <laughs> Absolutely nothing has happened. I'm wondering if maybe the battery's dead. Or not dead, but maybe like low. And maybe that's why it's not like working all that great. I'm gonna throw this thing on the charger. See if that makes a difference. So I've let this thing charge for about an hour and a half. Let's see if it makes a difference. Let's hold it still. <laughs> Wow, imagine that, nothing is happening. You know what I just realized? I think I know why nothing is happening and I don't know how you would fix it. Okay, so it's doing it right on that one. <laughs> the blades spin backwards. Because here, the cutting edge is on this side. But it spins, it spins the complete wrong way. So that's, that's why nothing happens. I'm assuming it only goes one way. Like there's, only, like there's no way to, it's just an on and an off button. There's no way to like reverse the, there's no directions. There's no way there's going to be a way to reverse it. It doesn't say anything about reversing the direction. Which, why Why would you need to reverse the direction, theoretically, on a food processor? You would think that if you were going to manufacture a product, you would at least know what direction your blades are going to spin. I can't believe that I waited an extra hour and a half to charge this thing, to give it another shot, 
when the blades were spinning backwards the entire time. I mean, it's called the electric, the cooking hammer. Is it, like, do they call it the hammer because you want to, like, smash it when you try to use it? Jeez. Just so that you can see what I'm talking about. This curved edge right here, this is the cutting edge. So, so it should be spinning this way. And you can see, it does not. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any other products that you want to see me review, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.